Vicki Chappelle was born Georgette Louise Meyer in 1919 in Milwaukee to Paul and Edna Meyer. As a child, she took her nickname from her hero, Arctic explorer Admiral Richard Byrd, and dreamed of being a pilot or an aerospace engineer. She attended Atwater Elementary School and Shorewood High School, where she was involved in both the student newspaper and radio club. An exceptional student, Dickie skipped the grade and graduated as valedictorian of her class at the age of 16. She earned a full scholarship to study aeronautical design at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and was one of only seven women admitted that year. But Dickie was more interested in flying planes than designing them and spent much of her time in the local airfield writing aviation articles and taking aerial photographs. It led to the publication of her first newspaper article in the Boston Traveler, but the start of her journalism career marked the end of her academic career. Having earned low grades and missing too many classes, she was asked to leave MIT after her second year. Back in Milwaukee, she began working at a local airfield. But after her mother learned of an affair with a pilot, Dickie was sent to live with her grandparents in Florida. But her love of planes persisted. She began writing press releases for an air show and quickly landed a job with TWA in New York, where she met photography instructor and her future husband, Tony Chappelle. Dickie wanted to be on the front lines, and in 1942, she became one of the first women correspondents accredited by the military in World War II, an accreditation she quickly lost after accompanying the Marines onto Okinawa Island, despite a ban on female correspondents going ashore in combat areas. She had written nine books by the end of the war, but still lacked military reaccreditation. When her photos of blood transfusions in the field were rejected by an editor who said the wounds looked too dirty, she continued to submit her work to other magazines. Eventually, Cosmopolitan published the images. Shortly after, Seventeen Magazine hired Dickey as their only photographer and then associate editor, but she grew restless with the role and was eager to return to foreign reporting. And she did, in the 1950s, after being hired as a war correspondent for National Geographic. Dickey became known for her tenacity and willingness to do anything to get the story. She was embraced by military units in many different nations, including rebel groups in Algeria, Cuba, Hungary, and South Vietnam. She even took up parachuting at the age of 40, after becoming the first female reporter to receive approval from the Pentagon to jump with American troops in Vietnam. She was captured by Russian forces, arrested as a spy, and imprisoned for two months in 1956 after attempting to bring penicillin to Hungarian refugees. In 1962, she became the second woman awarded the George Polk Memorial Award, the highest award for bravery from the Overseas Press Club of America. She spent two decades covering conflict at a time when most editors did not send women to war, and she helped pave the way for those who came after her. On November 4, 1965, Dickey was killed by a landmine while on patrol with a platoon in Vietnam, becoming the first American woman reporter to be killed in action. <laughs> 